before we begin creating the feet, let's talk a little bit about how we can create custom layouts to better suit our needs within Maya. A lot of times when you're working with something complex like feet, you're going to realize that you're going to need to be able to see orthographic views. An orthographic view, just to refresh your memory, is one of these views here like the top, the front, or the side. You cannot rotate around them and they show a direct camera view of the scene. Well, the problem is, is that this just shows the front, this just shows the top, and this just shows the side. And if we were to search around in our different panel options here, we can see that there's no opposite for this. We can't get one that shows the bottom, one that shows the back, and one that shows the left side, because this is actually the right side camera. And in order to do that, what we have to do is set up a special, our own custom layout. Before we do that, let's take a little exploration of the layout editor, or the panel editor rather. So to get to that, we would just right click on any of these layout options. You can select edit layouts, that will open up your panels window. Another way you can get to the panels window is by selecting the panels on any of the four perspective panes. And you can just drop that down and select panel editor. That'll also open up this panels window. And yet another way you can get to it is by selecting windows, go to your saved layouts. And at the bottom of saved layouts, you can select edit layouts. Usually the fastest way I prefer to get to this is just right clicking here and selecting edit layouts. But anyways, now that you know how to get to it, let's go ahead and move forward. So in the layout options, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a new layout. So I'll go to layouts and I will just select create a new layout. It's going to drop us a new layout down here at the bottom and we can go ahead and give this a name. So we'll go ahead and just call this our custom layout. And we're just doing this one for learning. We can delete it later. I'm just going to select this new layout one and delete that. I think I made that earlier today, fooling around. So with custom layout, we can go into our layout options. So you want to make sure you have custom layout, the one we just created selected. Then go into edit layouts and you're going to get this neat little pane here and it can tell you how you can set up your options. So I can go into the configuration. I can use some of the pre-made ones. So I could say I only want one pane or I maybe want to have two panes stacked on top of each other for my custom layout. Or I can drop this down and I can say I want the two panes to be side by side. And you can just kind of fool with these and fly through them and decide how you want it. Furthermore, you can even I'd edit this a bit more. If you'll notice as I mouse over these options, these little bars, I can move them. You can see there's little dots. See time you've seen little dots within Maya, that means you can grab it and drag it. So I can maybe make this window on top a bit smaller and this one on bottom a bit bigger. And it will remember that I have these settings. So I just left click on it, drag it, and it will automatically save this as I've moved it. And I can just close this. And anytime I open up my custom layout, it will automatically set this up. One more thing I should say before I move forward with our custom layout selected, you can go to the contents section and pick exactly what you want each of these panels to be. So if I go into configuration, I can see this is panel one. And I can see that this is panels two. And I can see that this is panel three. So this is a three panel layout. But I got to remember that number because when I go into contents, this is one, two, and three. So this is one. So what I have this set to is what this panel, this section here, is going to be. So I can go into contents. I can drop this list down. And maybe I want that to be my outliner. So I could set that to outliner. And it will automatically remember this. I don't have to save it or anything. I can just close it. And anytime I open this up, it will be right here, custom layout. I can set it to one of these and just mouse over it. You can see it's custom layout. And I can just click it and it will bring this up for us. Now we can go ahead and just delete this and take a look at how we can create our opposite view for our four panel view. So I'll go to layouts. I'll just select this custom layout that we created for testing and playing around. Now let's go ahead and delete that and click OK. Now that's one way you can create them is you can go into your panel editor and create it that way. Another way you can create it is by pre-setting up a configuration. So right now I just have the four panels set up here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this up a bit right now myself. So I'm going to go into panels. And one of the things that you'll notice is if I go into the outliner, it only creates four cameras when a new scene is created. You have your perspective, your top, your front, and your side. So we have to create our other cameras right off the bat. So all we have to do to create those is we'll go into our four panel view. We'll drop down the panels and we'll go to orthographic and we're going to create three different new cameras. So we're going to go to new and we're going to create a bottom camera. So I'm going to select bottom. Then I'm going to come down to the panels 
view for the front, I'm just going to go to Panels, and I'm going to go to the Orthographic, and I'm going to drop down New, and this time I want a back, so I want the opposite of front, so I'm going to set it to a back. This was top, now it's bottom, this was front, now it's back, and this is actually the right side. All you see here is side. This is the right side, so we need a left side camera. So then I'll drop down Panels, I'll go to our Orthographic. I'll go to new and I will go ahead and select a left camera. So now I have this set up, but if I were to leave this panel view, if I were to click on any of these other layouts, it will not remember this because this is not saved. So I have to save this custom layout here. So I can go up to window and I can drop this down. And I can click on save the current layout and that's going to pretty much do the same thing we did with the panel editor is however I have the viewport set up whatever cameras they're using or however they're set up it will remember that for me in this new layout so I'll go ahead and change this new layout to a four panel opposite and I'll go ahead and click OK now one of the problems with this routine here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on because this is probably what you're looking at in your panel view you probably see your cameras inside your panel view. So the problem is anytime we want to use this, like I right click and I can set this to the four panel opposite. So now I can go see the top, the front and the right side. And then I can come down here, select our custom layout. And I can see that we have a bottom, a back and a left side. So this will be the opposite views from our original four panel view. But there is a problem that exists with doing this because when you create a new scene, these cameras don't exist. If I go to the outliner, we've created the bottom, the back and the left these cameras don't exist in a new scene so every time we create a new scene we'll have to recreate those cameras another problem is that as you can see if I zoom out I can see the camera so that's kind of annoying so one of the things that we can do is we can use the mail scripting editor so whenever we create a new scene we can click a button it'll automatically create those cameras and it'll make this custom layout work so it'll be as simple as you create a new scene, you click the mail script button and it'll create your cameras for you. And it'll also hide those cameras in the scene. So we'll go ahead and take a look at how we can create that mail script for creating our custom cameras in the next scene. So that way it'll be a simple process of create a new scene, click the button and you're able to use your opposite viewports for your bottom, your back and your left hand sides. If you have any questions or comments, please post below the video on brainpoof.com and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.